The first time I watched a drama stage play was in an enormous theater that I think could seat almost a thousand people. It was quite the privilege, but it was only luck that brought me there. I had the experience of not only watching a wonderful live drama, but also the opportunity to observe the keen and silent audience. I was seated far from the stage, yet I knew the scale of how tall the red curtains were. They concealed the preparation behind them, and in time, when everything and everyone was ready, the curtains slowly marched to the sides to uncover the performance. Life before the pandemic was like watching a stage play. We are the audience. We watch and keenly observe the events that unfold right before our eyes. We criticize in whispers and speak of the incompetence of the actors on the stage, which I briefly dubbed as the politicians, personalities of power, of wealth, of influence. I think of myself as the common folk, the one who watches the play uninvolved, uninitiated in the act of pretending and portraying a good image while the crowds of society watch. To think that society is a stage play with powerful people as the actors and common folk as the audience is unfair. You are right to think of that because people like us have our own agency to think for ourselves and contribute to the community. When COVID disease is spread worldwide, I like to think of this moment as the time the curtain fell, never to conceal the preparations of the actors and where all magic and illusion disappear. The audience stands the same ground as the actors and we all see the backstage where the smoke and mirrors are hidden. During the pandemic, there was no stage anymore. There was no difference between the people of power and citizens. There was no theater anymore. It was just a room where everyone breathed the same air and experienced the same exact issue. The first few months of the pandemic was a time where, as I like to think about it, some leader's hypocrisy was revealed. Selfishness was displayed, dubious self-righteousness was displayed, morally questionable decisions made, and unfair treatment happened. When everyone was set on a level field, there was still the undeniable act of competition where people had to oppress others just to survive. Some might even say that it was necessary just to live. But it was also the time where dull stars started to shine the brightest. During the struggles of isolation and disconnection, considerate arms reached out from the darkness and helped the poorest of the poor to endure. This was a moment where confused and scattered virtuous hearts came together in social solidarity. Charity is actually an underwhelming word to use for individuals who contributed a vast amount of their wealth and inexhaustible efforts to help the many. People might call this year the time humanity came close to an apocalypse. But the word apocalypse was originally from the Greeks. It meant revelation. It meant unfolding or unveiling the shroud to reveal what is previously unknown. Life during COVID is an apocalyptic theater play, not where the world is ending, but a play where the curtain is drawn, the backstage revealed, the actors exposed, and where the true heroes and heroines from the crowd stood up to help a needful world.